Thanks to a string of unusually cold weeks, the inland lakes are frozen solid. And we've even seen some ice accumulation on a few of the little bays on Lake Superior and Lake Michigan. But is that evidence of a solid freeze this winter? Well, December's mean temperature was below average, and so far January's cold has been even more impressive. And although this weekend's warm-up isn't expected to do much damage to the existing ice, there's another factor to consider. Probably the main factor would be winds breaking apart what ice has formed already. So we might lose some of that ice cover, but as far as the lake temperatures are concerned, we're not seeing anything that will necessarily halt what may some more ice formation later in the month. So although we may take a few steps back, we expect to make forward progress in building up a good ice pack over the coming weeks, especially between Thunder Bay and Isle Royal and along many of the sheltered areas. But why should we care about a good ice pack anyway? Uh, as far as like the Keweenaw or near Lake Superior in general, having the ice or the lake iced over will reduce the lake effect snow because we don't have that moisture and the, the heat coming off the lake to help produce those lake effect snow showers. So that's one of the main things. Something else to think about is we lose the moderating effects of the relatively warm water off of the lake, so future Arctic blasts would feel even colder once the lake freezes over. And what about past ice? Well, it's difficult for Superior to freeze over completely. There's typically some ice shifting around, even in the dead of winter. But winter of 2008 and 9 is one of the most recent years we saw a good freeze. Also, in 94 and 96, we saw a really good ice, and Superior nearly froze over completely. Now, even if we do see a solid freeze this year, it's always best to stay off the big lake. Area winds can shift the ice around, making it very unpredictable and dangerous. Reporting in Nagani, Sean Householder, TV6 News.